What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm with a really good friend of mine, Keith. I hope you can hear me over his loud exhaust. <laughs> but uh, right now we're in his, uh, what is it, 2017? 2016. 2016 uh, Mustang GT? Yep. Yeah, GT. It's the the big boy, the V8. Um, some of you might know him. He has the uh, nice Japanese wrap on it. Looks really good. He got it done by a guy local here in Richmond. Uh, if you want to explain kind of how that happened, like, go ahead. It just kind of happened out of the blue. One of our other good friends, Alec, came to us and asked me if I wanted a free wrap, and I was like, sure. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was kind of, you know, pulling my leg a little bit, and just, I was like, whatever, I'll just, you know, I'll throw my picture out there. Guy called me a couple times and got everything, you know, squared away, and I still thought he was kind of kidding. And then a month went by, and he called me and told me he needed a car. It's like, what do you need my car for, man? He said, uh, to measure all the wrap and every, make sure I got everything, you know, squared away with it. I said, oh, so you're serious? He said, yeah. He goes, just one thing. You don't have any any idea what this wrap's going to be. You don't have any choice in it. I said, whatever. It's yeah, fine with me. Yeah, it's free wrap. You yeah. can't really go wrong said with it. He said it was all free. So I said, as long as it protects the paint, I ain't got to pay nothing for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and all game for it. As you can see, it's really nice. So, yeah, uh, a guy did it for him. It was completely free. He did it for a big old... What was a competition where at? Yeah, it was 3M, uh, a 3M rap competition yeah. in uh, Atlantic City. Okay, yeah, and I think it came in second place. Yes, sir. Yeah, so he has an award-winning rap on this, which is nice. But sadly, he does want to eventually take it off because he has big plans for his car. But uh, that's about it from the rap side. But uh, a question I want to get into now is, like, what got you into cars in general? Like, what made you start doing things to cars one of my uh really close friends growing up with him and his dad always had cars at the house had mustangs chevys i mean anything and everything if it had a motor and it could go he yeah had his house so i ended up going over there shoot probably all the way through high school and just Ever, messing with cars oh, yeah, and everything putting my blood sweat and tears and anything he wanted to work on yeah just, i got that that's like that's how a lot of people are too like just like in the virginia area like we are kind of like a southern state and we kind of have that I guess you could say, uh, what is it called? Uh, where it's it's like a stereotype. Yeah, yeah. It's like Southerners have that stereotype, like working on cars in the garage with dad and everything, like building big old V8 blocks and going oh, to the yeah. drag strip every Friday and Saturday night and everything. Yeah. But like that, that's not how I was raised. But it's like that's not a, that much of a stereotype. But I guess it kind of is. Yeah. So you kind of fall into that stereotype. Oh, but it's yeah. like, <laughs> I don't care if it's got a motor four cylinder six cylinder eight cylinder exactly if it gets up and goes and looks good i'm a fan of it yeah i'll drive it exactly how i am like i'm not big on mustangs at all like anyone that actually knows me personally knows i absolutely hate them <laughs> and i don't hate them because like they're like a mustang i hate them because it's just easy cheap affordable power like you can buy a mustang in your autumn well i won't say any mustang you can buy a v8 mustang for a very reasonable price and already like be pushing four or five hundred horsepower with just a few mods, which is just nuts. It's insane to think about, and that's why I hate them. But I respect them because, I mean, you you got to respect power. Like that's all there is. And I, so, what kind of got you in a Mustang is my next question. He, uh, my buddy, you know, they always had all kinds of cars at the garage, but for some reason he always liked Mustangs. He started out with a V6, you know, yeah, helped him build that thing up a little bit, and I just grew you know fell in love with them this I got older classic ones is really what got me into them and then uh i started seeing the newer models and everything like that i've had yeah. a, I've, this is my third mustang in the past two years so jeez i've got yeah. a 14 v6 at the house i got a i had a 07 california special that i actually traded in on this okay to get this so. yeah and i'm guessing you're pretty happy with this one so oh, yeah i'm definitely <laughs> happy with this so one. what all have you done to this so far uh only besides thing, the wrap obviously besides the wrap i have other than you know i have a cat back when i have of course a three inch cat back yeah which is loud yeah it's loud outside the car and it's somewhat loud inside the car yeah it's but, like uh, every time you pull it to my house i know it's yeah <laughs> and then i have i put a spoiler on it and the rtr lights in the grill but other than that right now it's other than that it's all stock so okay yeah so what are your plans for down the road plans for down the road are a lot of plans <laughs> it's just my you know trying to get there to get it all done yeah i plan on doing uh long tubes you know uh injectors carburetor jet intake 
I plan on doing everything. I'm okay, trying to yeah. go for just big power. Oh yeah, really big power. Probably <laughs> okay. something I shouldn't even try to go for, but I just have to. Would you would you own anything other than like a Mustang or something? Actually, it might sound weird. You know, I keep talking about how much I love Mustangs and V8 power, but I really want to build a Honda soon. Yeah. I mean, that's. I guess you can kind of think like me and a few other people for that one. Yeah, it's just like. I've always liked them. I've always liked the way they looked. They always look kind of, cl you know, really clean. And then it's just the right Honda, not yeah, not yeah, your the, little high school yeah, no, rice no. bucket, whatever. Like it really is. clean, yeah. really, you know, just simple. It's it's really good for me. Yeah, I was the same way. Like I didn't really respect Hondas that much, but then once I actually started meeting people that were actually building Hondas the correct way, like putting real time into them, not just slapping eBay parts on it and slapping AutoZone specials. Actually taking it to a shop, putting time into it, tuning it, getting it right, making it sound good. Like that's what made me respect Honda. It's like a good friend of mine, Cam, like I just met him this summer. Like amazing work on his car. He's done everything himself. That's what's made no me help. fall in love. And like he made me fall in love. That's what made me get the Honda that I currently have. And I'm pretty sure he's kind of oh, what's kind of driving you yeah. to want to get oh, a yeah, Honda too. Just to see what he can do with just simple just simpleness. Yeah, it's definitely. Really, it's all it is. It's clean, and it's it just drives me out of this world. Like you could, you could throw a big ass V8 in a car and just, oh yeah, let's do this, or you could just do four cylinders and just, yeah, it's, it's be really same. obnoxious, it's, but go it's, fast. It's great. The it's, power to weight ratio in the Civic is just stupid when it's done correctly. Yeah, that's. I got. I always see myself on a Honda. Got to be in a Skyline. It's got, you, know, it's, you have to. <laughs> if you don't like Skylines, you just, there's something going on with you. Yeah, the, but, uh, it's the fanboy car. Oh yeah, but <laughs> I could be in anything as long as, like I said, it's as long as I can do a couple of things to it and look really clean. Yeah, I got you. Me. Like this wrap right now, it's that's one reason I want to take it off. I like a clean, simple car. Yeah, this that's thing is exactly anything how but I am. simple. This thing is dynamic because I don't know what. It's just all right. It's and crazy. I got all right. Since you have a wrap. What would you rather have, wrap or paint? Coming from someone that actually has experience with both, now, what would you prefer? I can understand if you do on like a newer car, I would, I like wraps or okay. like a dip or peelable paint, something like that, just yeah. because the paint is already, extra, you know, it's already great. It's, yeah. You know, just no fades in it, and it's you know it'd be easier to take care of in the long run. Now, if you have an older car and the paint's already you know chipping and exactly. you know, you're thinking about doing wrap or anything, I just you know, for go ahead a couple extra, you know, money and just go ahead and get a respray of whatever color you want. Yeah, and that's just me because I think it's gonna. Like I said, newer cars you got to worry about it. Older, you know. Yeah, you kind of with a newer car you can kind of protect the paint more with a wrap yeah. and everything. Yeah, and so, that's what I've learned too, especially over the years now that wrap has really started getting like extremely popular. It's been getting really popular. The price of it has gone up. The premium for it is like way up there. Yes, it is. It's it's insane. Like we went and got a quote for a wrap for my buddy's car and uh the guy that quoted us for the wrap, it was virtually the same price it would be to go to a really high quality shop here in Richmond and get it show quality painted. Like all the body work would have been done. They would have pulled all the windows. They would have made sure all the door jams got painted and everything. So it kind of blew my mind now to see that wrap has skyrocketed in price like that. And I feel like he said, if you're going to paint or if you want to change your color or something on an older vehicle, I would go ahead and paint it. Because the wrap isn't going to be worth it in the long run because you have old fading paint and stuff. Now, if you're doing it yourself, that's a whole nother story because you can buy a wrap by the roll. And, and just, wrap a car yeah. yourself. You can learn with it and everything. That's fine. It's not really that hard. All you need is, you know, a squeegee and scissors, <laughs> and you can pretty much get it. I mean, well, I won't say it's that easy, but th that's that's the basics yeah, of it, yeah. definitely. But if you if you really like want to change the color of your car, I would suggest paint. I know wraps are really awesome, and you can get some stuff that paint can can't do. But for the price now that wrap is at, and what paint is at, you can get a high class show quality paint job for the same price as a wrap now and that's just insane to think about but uh if you want to blow some minds and have like an awesome wrap that no one else has go for it like definitely go for it if that's what you're shooting for but i like he said i would only do it on a newer car just to kind of protect the paint that is already high quality because like paint's come a long way in a the automotive world i guess you, you, oh, yeah. I guess you could say because back then like of course you see my civic my civic's bone stock i bought it second owner of the vehicle and like 
the paint's fine but the roof is just fading and you won't get that on new cars now i mean i won't say you can't get it but it's less likely to happen on a newer car than it is an older car but uh either way i think that's a good way to end the video now uh kind of introducing keith to the scene uh, everyone really liked my first video i did so i'm definitely going to keep doing these oh he missed second <laughs> Lock me out a second. Uh -huh. Like it's on you many a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid shifter. <laughs> but uh, definitely gonna end the video right here. Uh, if you want a video done, let me know. Hit me up. That's what he did. He was at my house. He was, he was like, yeah, you can feel free to do a video on my car if you want to. Look at that old. Was the SN95? Yes, sir. SN95. <laughs> but uh, if you want a video, let me know. Uh, I'll make sure to link all all of his social media in the uh, description. So if you want to follow his build on his beautiful 5.0 you can um let me see i definitely have some more videos coming up so stay tuned for that like subscribe if you have any suggestions on what you want to hear in the videos like a certain question you want me to ask everyone or something let me know there you go get to redeem himself on that one <laughs> much better but yeah, like I said, if you if there's anything you want to hear specifically or anything like that, let me know. I'll be sure to try and squeeze it in. I know I can't please everyone, but I feel like I'm trying my hardest to do a good job on all these videos. So I hope you liked it. I uh, hope you like uh, what Keith had to say. Like, easygoing guy. If you want to approach him about his Mustang, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask him. He'll, I'm, he's a nice dude. He's a, he'll answer any question he can. So I know a lot of people see this car and they're always like, ooh, whose car is this? It's mine. Yeah, it's his. <laughs> like, approach him. If you have any questions about rap, the quality, like any of that, go talk to him. Like, he knows firsthand because he owns one. So, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.